What's going on, everyone? My name is Impulse, and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 7. How are you guys doing today? I am doing fantastic. I'm excited about this episode because today we're going to be building the Phineas Machine, and I am super excited to show you that. You may be wondering, what is a Phineas Machine? Well, you're going to find out. But first, I think I want to tackle this to-do board. It's, uh, it's not great. It's not great. It's huge, and the idea was good to have all the things that I potentially could do for farms for the season on a board so we can check them off our list moving from left to right but I want to do it a little differently to save a bit of space and make it look a lot nicer and I think you guys also told me I forgot a few things on there so we'll fix that as well hopefully but first I'm going to actually build a new board slightly in front of it and then we'll get things moved over Okay, so here's the goal. I want to get this giant board down to the size of this board right here. And how we're going to do that is basically instead of moving things from one place to another, we're just going to toggle with lights basically to tell us whether or not we have done something or it is yet to be done. So the idea basically would be, let me remove some of this so I can demonstrate. We'll put a block on the back and a lever on the back as well. And then if we were done with, let's say, the cow farm, I guess, we'll signify it with beef. So this would be the cow farm. If we were done, we would just come back to the back, flip the lever, and then we could see that that one's lit up through the item frame there, and we would know that that one's checked off. We've done that. Uh, we kind of have done that, I guess. We've got like that starter cow farm that we made over at the starter base in, where was it? Uh, you can hardly see it from here. Oh, down in there. Yeah, it was in this little spot right here, if you guys remember early season. Uh, but I don't know if I would mark that off yet, because I think we could do something a little better than that. So anyway, uh, so that's the idea. Now we can fit 50 five different farm types on there. I think I had like 45 or so up on this board and there was some I forgot and plus I got a feeling more farms will be coming in 1.16 so I may even have to expand the board out when that happens. I don't know exactly how many new farmable things there will be but I do want to leave some space for the things we forgot and potential new things in 1.16. Alright so what I'm going to do now is basically move all the signs into item frame representation of themselves and some of these things might be a little difficult to do because because, uh, yeah, I don't know, I guess I have to put a trident <laughs> on an item frame. Some of these things would be really great to have the mob head representation. Wouldn't it be great to have a pig head represent the pig and a cow head represent the cow farm? That would be cool. I don't know. Do they drop? I suppose they probably do if we slaughter enough of them. Uh, that might be a thing. So we, as we go, we may represent the different farms with the actual mob heads. That would be kind of cool. Well, that took a bit of time, but we finally have, I think, everything. Unless I'm still forgetting things. Of course, you guys let me know as we go along. But yeah, I've got all the agriculture type stuff again. All the passive mobs. We start to get in some hostile mobs. I definitely think that if we can get all the heads in here instead of the drops that that we get from these farms it would look so much better i did happen to have a drown head so if we ever do a drown farm that's what that's going to represent but yeah certain things like wait do magmas drop their heads do they have yeah i guess they would right uh, magma cream obviously would be you know magma cubes you guys can kind of get the idea here this would be a bone from skellies so uh i have some of these lamps turned on like the guardian one you can see is turned on with a rose we got the totem of undying representing our pillager farm and yeah that we do have a skelly farm so here's basically how we got to do it you have to kind of make note of where it's at so we know this is all the way on this side in the middle there and if we go over to the middle one and flip the lever in the back then that means it is now marked off as done because the light is on and so yeah spider farm this would be a witch farm iron farm obviously this coal here would represent the wither skelly farm it'd be nice to get a wither skelly skull although those are still quite valuable so you can see we got a lot left to do there's only what five lights on out of all this and then there's room at the bottom here this was one i had forgotten about the honey this just seems to be much more space efficient and we still get 
the job done here and we still get the satisfaction of every time we make a farm coming back to the back and flipping a lever to signify that we got done with that farm so that's going to be super fun but again if you see anything or you can think of anything that is missing let me know we got some room down below and if we have to i can expand this farm i guess upwards if we need to for 116 when that comes along but now that that's done we get to make our phineas machine and <laughs> i'm super excited in fact now that i've taken down that ginormous wall I see we've actually got room for it right in here which is awesome that's gonna be great we can put it right here next to the board and it'll make sense so all right let's grab some redstone and make this machine the redstone box is officially out and we are ready to start building this up and this is going to be the output of the machine right here and the input is going to be right there so we're going to do a little bit of redstone on camera uh not too much but i just want to show you kind of the idea behind this machine it relies heavily on randomizing and so we're going to build up just a little tiny randomizer circuit right now basically it's just a dropper it's a hopper and then we're going to read the contents of what goes into that hopper out into a line here. In fact, I am going to get a comparator signal out and we're going to drop it down here so that we can compact the redstone a little bit. So what we're going to do now is take an unstackable item. I have a stone pickaxe probably from early season, maybe the first pickaxe I ever made. I don't know. And uh, something that's stackable to 64 in there. And now what happens is based off of which one of these actually gets selected to go into this hopper we get a different signal strength out of that comparator so if if it's the shovel it's going to go all the way to three here and if it's the the shovel the pickaxe if it's the terracotta it's only going to go to one here and we'll know that by taking that signal off of the line here we'll grab that with a repeater there we'll grab this one with a repeater and then we'll know which one actually got selected if we just carry that signal over here and lock this guy and so basically if this block uh, or if this gets powered right here in fact, let's do this. Let's put let's let's make it visual. Let's put a lamp there and a lamp there. And now we can kind of get an idea. We can see if we're quick about it, which one gets selected. So that time it must have been the terracotta block because it only went to that first one. This time it went to the second one. You see that second light went on. So that would have been the pickaxe. That was the pickaxe again. Pickaxe again. You get the idea. And that time it was a terracotta block. So it is completely random which one gets chosen out of this dropper. And now we can take that signal and choose what to do with it. Now that's good enough on its own, but I want to actually be able to randomize this even further. So I'm going to build up a few more of these circuits and basically just start branching off. So if we do the same exact thing now, take that as the input like we did here to another randomizer, then it could split off into another two choices, do the same thing there. And it's another two choices. And basically we would have a four way randomizer. And that is what I'm going to build now. There we go, the entire circuit is now built up and we should have basically a one in four chance here four different droppers here and if we press the button we can kind of get an idea of where the signal would have gone to i think it was that one that time and again oh it went to the same one it looked like <laughs> what are the chances i guess it'd be one in four all right and that one i think that time i saw the lock on that repeater here so that would have been that let's check this out if we just take a random item here out of our inventory and let's do glass in this one i suppose ice in this one and we'll put a comparator in that one now we can get a much easier visual indication of which one fired based off of which one an item comes out of oh and there we go there's our comparator so i just wanted to show you that before we build up any more now what i want to do is actually put items in here but collect them down into this chest again this is where we're going to get our final result of all this randomizing the Phineas machine is now working, at least I hope so. I've put in all the circuitry and also loaded up the dispensers or the droppers, I should say, with four random items just to make sure we're getting randomness out of the system. So now when we press the button, we should see something random come in here and it shows cyan terracotta this time around. Let's see what it chooses this time. This time we got a glass. Now, 
Ice? Okay, this is looking good so far. I think, uh, what was the other thing? Glowstone I have in the system somewhere. There's glass again, terracotta again, and there's our glowstone. So we can definitely tell it is random every single time, and that is perfect. And now that I've built the machine up, maybe, maybe now is a good time for me to tell you the whole point of this machine. You guys have probably been sitting here going, Okay, I think I understand the concept, but what 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 is this all for? What is he what is he gonna actually do with this? Well, I'll tell you, it has something to do with this, right? We've got all these farms that we haven't done that we're gonna do some point in the season, and I am gonna let the machine Tell me what we're doing. <laughs> Basically, whenever I start an episode, I feel like building a farm. I'm gonna press a button and it's gonna tell me which farm we're gonna be doing. So it's going to tell us what we're going to be doing today. Some of you may get the reference. Uh, <laughs> so that means we actually need to load those droppers with nine different farm ideas. So instead of a block, you see we got nine spots. I'm going to name a paper basically with the farm, different farm designs, different farm names that we need to do. And that means that we can get 36 total put into these droppers here because nine times four is 36. Last I checked, I know I'm not the best at math, but I think I got that one right. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and write down all the different farms that we still have left to do, load them up in the droppers, and we'll get a good taste of how this is gonna play out. Okay, all the tasks have now been loaded and we get a chance to see, we're not gonna build a farm today, but let's pretend we were. We would come up to this, hit the button, and then we find out what farm we are going to build today. And it would have been a cobblestone farm. <laughs> awesome. All right, yeah, that would be fun. Oh, by the way, I some of these I did not put in the system just yet because they are nether-based farms. Uh, so these four I am not gonna put in the system until we reset the nether to 116 because there would really be no point of building any of these when they're just gonna get wiped when we reset the nether. And then this one as well, the obsidian farm, because this is done basically on the end platform and there's still a lot of traffic in the end there's still some people wanting to fight dragons and stuff here and there we haven't opened up all the portal gateways yet i'm going to leave this one until the end becomes a little more mature as well maybe later in the season i'll put that in the system but uh yeah this time around we would have had cobblestone farm i i gotta press the button one more time it's just too fun it's it's like it's like when you're a kid and you're opening packs of baseball cards and you're excited because you don't know what you're gonna get and then you get a chance to see and you find out it's a vine farm very exciting <laughs> anyway this is pretty cool i was excited to build this up today because yeah i just really love the idea of the random nature of the thing like i said you, you don't know what you're gonna get until you press the button and find out which is pretty cool so that is a done deal Oh, and of course i'll put these two back in the system so that they are still ready for us to take on at a later date so check this out, guys. I just got word from B-dubs that we may have our first customer for boomers. So we're going to head on over to Cub Fan's base area and check out what he's got in store for us. And not only that, I got my shovels back. So we are good to go. I'm ready to go boomy boom some mountains. Gentlemen, gentlemen, just the pair of, or a trio rather, of trio. gentlemen I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, How are you? What's this thing? What's this thing you got? Oh, this? Yeah, you guys know what this is, right? You guys are boomers. You know yeah, yeah, but it's. Go but ahead, it's oh, man. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Wait, did that? Oh, oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, beautiful. Okay. I needed that. That was good. <laughs> did you like That's that? That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was hoping. To, I was hoping to get it like a like a sampling of your work. So, that, I mean, is that what happens when you guys come? Oh, around? well, that times about a million mm -hmm. so yeah 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 okay. and you might want to not be carrying anything fancy while we're around just so you know i, oh, I learned okay. from experience Sa safety precautions of course i mean <laughs> right. it's never necessary but it's gotcha, just you know, gotcha, occasionally gotcha. accidents so, so I mean, can I need, happen I need, to, I need to put these away then is what you're saying these <laughs> <should> <laughs> go away. or yeah. i can hold I them for you either way idea. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna hold on to it for now, but okay, um, okay. so I heard you guys were like explosives experts, and yeah, like you guys are the best as well. Yeah. Heard. Mm -hmm. The best of the best, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. Boomers. Yeah. right, hundred percent. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. boomed. We can do it. Oh, do I need something? Boom. Take a yeah. look around. Take a look around. See these two mountains here? Yes, these I do. Mountains? These got to be leveled. These got to be leveled down oh. to the ground. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I'm salivating a little bit. That, that's <laughs> this, this is no problem. 
right? Yeah, no we got okay. the yeah. Boomificator nine thousand and two. That's right. Right. Short mm -hmm. work. Short work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are up. Let's just fly up to the top here real quick. I just want to show okay. you. This is this is a big mountain. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Goes back a little, little further. Okay. It's okay. a little deep. Yeah, it's a little bit deep. So you, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of TNT. Do you guys have like a like a system to like? Take something this big down? What What do you got? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, not a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, last week, we were actually testing out some some new... I mean, there's a lot of designs out there, but we were testing out some new designs. and Just, just uh, prototypes, but, you know, they're, yeah. they're, they're, okay. they're looking pretty good. They're looking good. Tango okay. is a, a genius with this stuff. He's made some prototypes. They did fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really, really good stuff. We could, I mean, this is going to be a wonderful job, and you called the right guys, no question. We definitely don't Great. have insurance, though, yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's not so a problem, is it? No, no. I'm sure it'll be fine. I, tr I trust you guys. I trust you guys. But what are we talking about? Like, for price? What are we talking about? What are we talking? Mm. About? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, look, it goes all the way back here, guys. Just so you know. I mean, if you didn't see it, it's pretty. It's pretty it big. It's a scale job. Yeah. 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 It goes on that way, and and he needs that one done as well. Oh man, I don't our, know. Our what do you think, B Dubs? Typical, typical starting rate. Of like, what was it like? Every sixty-four. Sorry, B Dubs. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me. I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, with our typical starting rate, you know, every sixty-four blocks is about a diamond or so. So we're looking. Do the math. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does that, does that sound right? Sixty-four Ooh, blocks is a diamond. No. Uh, that's uh, well, that's I, pretty I think, steep. I don't know. Oh, maybe, diamond maybe blocks. Maybe. Did you say oh. diamond blocks? You said diamond uh, yeah, blocks. Yeah, absolutely. Diamond blocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that feels good. Oh, that feels good to me. Oh. Diamond, diamond. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so... Yeah. <sighs> Deep breath. Wait, is, there, is everything all right there, Cub? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Um, that, that's a little bit steep, I think. I mean, You're a think? smart guy. You got some enterprising businesses to pay for this kind of thing, I assume, right? Yeah, like there's, there's a few. I mean, they don't pull in diamond blocks, but I mean, they pull in some diamonds. I'm all thinking. Right. We're what, talking what, a lot of TNT here, man. Think think about all the TNT that's going to need to be used. Very true. What what if we did like a stack of diamonds per person? Would that be? Oh. I mean, I think a that's a little bit more reasonable. Stack of diamonds per person. Yeah. No. Look, look, look at plus plus mm. plus a little bit extra, like right now. You know, a little. Oh. Premium, a little bit extra. Oh. 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 A little tip up front. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, a little sprinkling some dust if around I there. If I could All right. yep. meet with yep. my colleagues for just one second, if you don't oh, sure. mind. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Just Tango, come on over right. if yeah, you don't mind. Ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Impulse, yeah. no you are. Uh, m I see you're mining sand. Yeah. And yeah. It's taking. So so if you mine 64 blocks, that's less money for <laughs> you're us. You're literally oh. taking money out of our pockets right now. So oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Yeah, maybe leave some of Holster the sand. Holster shovel boy. Okay, okay. Please, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got excited. I got. Deal. I got new shovels. I understand. And, and, and I, I really want to. Yeah, yeah, I got to test everything them out. Everything good over here, guys? We're, we're fine. Everything's yeah. fine. Just, okay. just a moment, sir. Everything's fine. Sure, yes. sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so <clears throat> this is this is a, a lucky day for you because uh, you're our first job. You're our first job. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. it's not impo it's good not actually good to say that but uh <laughs> like we're, we're a company of honesty right sure uh, uh, if you say so your company what did you propose <laughs> uh 64 diamonds each to each person really okay that's mm. funny because okay guys we we were gonna say we had talked about this a little bit before we were thinking that that you know d depending on the size of the job uh we were we were hoping uh two stacks of diamonds per person, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. that would have been nice, but Good you're handling. lucky. Thank you. You're lucky. You're very lucky because we are offering right now a 50% off discount. Oh, right. it's my lucky day. Yep. That's my yeah. lucky day. First customer <laughs> discount. That's right. That's right. Trying to get the business rolling. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I, I just need, I just need one thing here. Take, take this, right? And take of course. this. I need to see. Okay. I need to see if you guys are up. No, to sorry, sorry, I sorry. See, sorry. I need to see a little sample before I fully commit to this. Can I? Of course, of course. Okay. Let's, okay. Uh, Tango is the expert. Uh, well, see, with... we don't normally uh, rely on manual deployment. We have uh, automated machinery for this sort Ooh. of thing. So this is yeah. sort of outside our comfort zone. But you know, I can show you a little bit of what's what's going to happen here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just a little sample. You know, that's all. That's all I really need. Uh, yeah. Let's just. I should probably stand back for this, I assume. 
Totally safe. Totally yeah. safe, sir. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. And yeah. of course, hey, hey, maybe save some supply. Save just a little <laughs> bit of supply. Oh, I like the the enchanted flint and steel. Yeah. I like, you can it's tell a man's serious when he carries this, uh, an enchanted flint and steel. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. That, oh yeah. That, that All is right. Are, are we ready, gentlemen? Because yeah, it's yeah. Always time. ready. Oh, oh. Always ready. I think we're ready. <laughs> yeah. They're all. Hey! Oh! I didn't even see it flash. Um, that's the, that's the he, quick prime TNT. B dubs, what happened? Was there, was there he, an incident? Was I don't think there? he was behind the blast shield. That, oh, we didn't even have a blast shield. There's a problem right there. Oh, oh no. man. Oh, well, it's, I mean, uh, you might need to up the safety a little yeah. bit, but other we'll than see, that, we'll pretty see. Good. Well, pretty good. I mean, we did say we didn't have insurance, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, clients aren't required to be at the uh, at the site during our hours of operation, so right. you'll be fine. Don't you worry. And uh, right. any collateral damage is uh, it's not on us. Just so you know. Perfect. Perfect. That All sounds right. great to me, guys. So we got Thanks a deal. deal. Deal made. Deal made. We did it! Sucker! Well, all right, we've got our first job scheduled to blow up a couple mountains out at Cubs Base. That is great. Hopefully, we'll be getting to that next episode. But before we go, I want to address this, right? Last video, I posed the question to you. What do you guys want to do about these beams, this gray concrete that we have here doing the diagonal style going down here in the front? Did you guys like that? You want to do that all the way around? Or should we just leave the beams, I guess you would call them naked, without those? Those, those cross bracings and the majority of you actually said that you liked the front better uh, and that it, it really was kind of needed to show more support for the base and I agree uh, but there was a few comments also that had some good suggestions maybe the problem is not the bracing here it's actually the style we went with kind of we did this cross pattern here and it's given it more of an industrial look uh, I kind of said it made some people think of this as like an oil rig <laughs> instead Instead of a modern futuristic style you know base here that's in the ocean so I think what I'm gonna do is actually change up the design and see if I can come up with one that you guys might like better or I should say all of us will like better so let's see what I can come up with I think I got something here that works look at this this does definitely look more sleek more modern just straight lines basically oh yeah yeah that is that definitely looks better it seems like it fits the base a little better here let that conduit kick in gets a little more light here as we kind of go around you can see I kind of thickened out the corners a little bit so I doubled up right here and it uh, goes around here and we just have these single strips coming down and we can see the lights here even better now because of that they all stay open and uh, tuck one in right here on the corner that fits perfect now and <laughs> to be honest it's easier to build too so I kind of like that because we're just going straight down I don't have to put temporary blocks in as I'm placing at the diagonal or anything like that so it's gonna be a lot easier to finish things up it is a little more concrete though uh, so I will need to make sure I have that but that's no problem anymore with the concrete maker and the wither rose farm I should be just fine in getting those those gray dyes to make in many concrete blocks as I need so yeah I'm gonna go with it people I'm gonna go with it let's see I didn't do a fly-in though it is nighttime which is kind of cool it's actually kind of nice to see it can I get out of this water come on there we go sometimes it's hard to get out fly out of the ocean here but let's turn around and see oh yeah you can see before after yeah I, I like it I like that a lot better definitely more fitting for the base style we're going to go with it, and now I can finish up. So I'm going to do that actually in between episodes because this one is starting to run a bit long, uh, but that's all right. It's it, We had a ton of fun today. Uh, we can see it kind of behind me. Let's fly in one more time, take a look at our new to-do board, and most importantly for the episode here was the Phidias machine. I'm super proud of how that turned out. So lots of fun today, and we got a big job with boomers coming up next episode. Can't wait for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go and with that said i'll see you again next time have a good one everyone